Ultimate Iron Man. Yeah, right. Look at me. I pretty much have a bank at this point. I'm going to be training my mining for a little while. And I'm also going to be casting Super Heat Item on all the gold ores. Just get a little bit of smithing XP. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how long I feel like staying. This is my tile man. The rules for the account are that as a tile man, I cannot step off my tiles and I can only unlock a new tile for every 1000 XP that I gain. As an ultimate Iron Man, grand exchange, bad, and what's a bank? All right, this should hopefully be it. Let's see, let's see. I got 180 gold nuggets now. Uh, is this gonna give me a smithing level in a second? I think it is. There you go, level 50 smithing. All right, well, that's done. Now let's uh, path our way over to the big guy there. Here we go. The boots, the legs, the jacket, the helmet. And there you go. Hard task completed. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why I did this, but I have full prospectors now. So whatever. I got it now, I guess. Hey, level 58 Slayer. I can now kill cave horrors and get my black mask. Also completed the task too, so perfect timing, but... Uh, I should probably do some quests and make use of that Slayer level now. Completed Pirate's Treasure and then went to the Edgeville Monastery to boost my prayer level up to 47, since 47 prayer was required to do rum deal. I then completed Cabin Fever and walked my way over to Trouble Brewing so I could unlock that minigame teleport, which is the closest teleport to the Cave Horrors Cave so I get my Black Mask in the future. Then completed Troll Stronghold because I felt like it, then did Tears of Gothics to get access to some free XPs. Oh, just shy of 100, just shy of 100. What do we get? 2,000 XP into Hunter? I'll take it. Minigame teleport! It's Black Mask time, baby. Okay, let's set up the safe spot. Start safe spotting these guys, and uh, I think it's like 100 to 500, so. Yeah, this could take a couple hours. Um. Um. Uh, <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? Okay, well. Well, um. Yeah. Bronze, iron, steel, black, mithril, bones to peaches, adamant, rune, long bone, and this thing. Dragon Defender on an ultimate Iron Man. Now I, I can't, I can't put it in my looting bag, so I'm kind of fucked with that. <laughs> Gotta make the clue stash. I just need to get my construction level up to 80 now. Yeah. Did you make a clip already? Are we clipping me? Welcome, Why are we clipping welcome, me? Welcome to the clip, Ian. Oh, we're in the clip. Yay, I'm in the clip. What the fuck? Oh. Just doing some barbarian assault with some people from the Talbound clan, and uh, <laughs> oh my god, I forgot how many tiles I have unlocked. <laughs> look how many tiles I've placed here. <laughs> like, look at all this. <laughs> this is the reason why my game's lagging so much, man. All right, well, that's enough messing around for one torso. There you go. Torso has been acquired on the ultimate Iron Man. It's a nice plus four to melee strength bonus and I can store it in my house. So it's a pretty good chess piece to go with my Slayer helmet when I make it. So this way I won't have to use Void anymore. Oh no, I'm, I'm dying. Okay, I shouldn't be, should not be yelling. It is like two in the morning right now. Got all the points that I need to imbue my black mask. Only problem is that all my stuff is in the Hispori death storage right now. Right. Uh, hold that thought. We'll be right back. Got a range bonus of 146 now on top of the 15% extra damage and accuracy. I'm going to be hitting quite often, even if my task is Black Demons, which I think right now my task is Black Demons. Yeah, task is to kill 135 Black Demons, but that is easy peasy. There we go. 110 tasks completed and I have a total of 402 Slayer points. There it is, Malevolent Masquerade. Yes, I'd like to purchase that. Use that on this guy. I need 55 craft. Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Back with some stews and there we go. Slayer Helmet imbued has been acquired. I bet that here to slay guy would be pretty jealous. All right, there it is. The first hard casket on the account. All right, let's see what I get. Ah, it's money. It's money. I can't expect to get a good unique on the first one. It's some money. I'm not complaining. I'm good. I'm happy with that. All right. Hey, I think that's a cheeky little upgrade coming in. What is that? Plus six range bonus? 
And I can wear it. Nice, nice. Let's just elk that guy away. Level 65 Slayer. That means I've unlocked Dust Devils. I might try to go kill some of them after this to get some dust runes. This here, killing the dust devils, safe spot in them, trying to get some more dust runes. Haven't gotten a single drop yet, but uh, just got some black dehyde van braces. That is a nice little surprising upgrade coming on in. Let's elk these guys away. And uh, what was that? Plus three, plus three range bonus. Not too bad, not too bad. Just need the pants now. Wait, did I, did I see that right? Oh my God. Oh my God, he uses tiles. <laughs> he uses tiles in the air here. Just completed Eagle's Peak to get my hunter level up to 29 so I can now catch some swamp lizards. I'm finally gonna be doing some hunter training. Oh, awesome, I missed the level, didn't I? Uh, yeah, there you go. Hunter level is now 47. I can now catch the orange salamanders. And that is 59 hunter, now able to make you birdhouses and catch red salamanders. All right, that's done. I wanted to get to 59 so I can make the you birdhouses because in order to do a couple medium diaries, including the already medium diaries, which I am still chasing, I need to get some willow seeds. Now, willow seeds, obviously the easiest way for me to get those are gonna be from going back to Winter Todd, which I don't wanna do. And the other option is doing birdhouses or farming contracts, but those have been unlucky so far. So I wanna do birdhouses and I, one of the best birdhouses to start off with are you because yous are still relatively quick to cut. Only issue is I need to get myself 60 crafting. And there we go, 61 crafting. I know I said I was only gonna get 60, but now with 61, I can do Lunar Diplomacy anytime I want. I just get that out of the way now since I'm already here. Anyways, back to the Hunter thing. And that's the last one. I'll be able to collect those in a little bit. Hopefully get a Willow Seed. And then for now, let's open up this easy casket. Okay, that was fun. Level 55 Herblar can now make super strength potions so I can use my Olympic roots and I can use the quorms that I have in Hispori right now. I don't know why I'm doing Herblar right now, but we're doing Herblar right now. So... I, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Procrastinating. Procrastinating is what I'm doing. All right, birdhouse round number four. Do we get the willow seed? All right, I'm gonna go plant this guy. I can get my willow branches for Enlightened Journey and do these medium diaries. I need to do the medium diaries for Varrock and you do the medium diaries for Artie and both of them require a willow tree. So finally I can do that stupid quest now. All right, got all this stuff. Actually, let me let me just double check that I actually have all the stuff from his spore here. Okay, yeah, got all this stuff from his spore out of there. Uh, managed to get up to just under 500 uh, doses of my super strength potions now. Gonna do another his spore kill real quick. I don't have the best gear. I don't have my void. I don't even have the fire cape on right now, but I'm gonna try and do it like this and see if I can kill it. We'll <laughs> see. <laughs> willow seeds willow seeds wow you should have just killed his spory forehead oh that's cool i guess oh my god i didn't even notice oh my god i didn't even notice oh black dehyde pants oh that's so nice the second hard clue look i have full black dehyde already and there we go we got a full dark totem i can go try and kill skatizo now Dude, that's perfect. Kill some black demons in the Catacombs of Korand. Skatizo counts as a black demon. I can use my Slayer Helm to kill him. That's perfect, man. And that is it. First Skatizo kill, that was pretty awful. Clue scroll, elite clue scroll and hard clue scroll. Infernal Ashes, how much prayer XP do these give? 110 prayer XP, damn. Awesome, all right, let's try and do these clues. Hey, got another hard casket, buddy. I've gotten really lucky with these lately. What is that? A rune defender ornament kit. Wait, can I store my rune defender with this? Hold up, hold up. Nope. Nope, you can't. Sad scam game. Medium casket. Oh, wow, more uniques. I'm getting pretty lucky with these uniques, aren't I? Two pages. I think the only other Bandos page I got, I dropped on the ground earlier. So that's first Bandos page. And then I'm pretty sure that's a duplicate. Yeah, that's a duplicate. So don't need that one. The next quest I want to do is desert treasure, but I need some noted magic logs. I think like 12 or something like that. And there's a chance I could get some noted magic logs from the brimstone chest. So just going to try opening up a couple of these guys. See if we can manage to get any. Oh, there you go. Second one already got some. Oh, and then got more. That's 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 way more than I needed. Forgot that I still hadn't done the tourist trap, so I did that first and then started Desert Treasure.
Yes! Desert treasure has been completed, guys. Oh my god, access to ancient magics now. Look how it just destroyed my tiles. Did that use like th almost 3,000 tiles for this quest or something? Holy crap. This beats underground pass by a long shot. Whew, on to the next guy. Actually, on to the next spell book. Fuck, I need inventory space for this, right? You better not force me out of this instance or else I'm gonna lose my full black dehyde. <laughs> lunar diplomacy completed. Look at that, access to lunar spellbook. This quest was pretty easy. I, I, no mistakes were made. I didn't lose anything. Nothing used to be in these inventory spaces. Next thing I did was a bit of construction. I just deposited all my items into his spory, then cut down the oak trees next to the sawmill guy to make some oak planks to use for my mahogany homes contracts. Once I got the 350 points, I obviously got myself a plank sack and then powered my way to level 80. Level 80 construction will allow me to boost to make master stash units, which is going to be very important for me storing my Slayer helmet and dragon defender in the future since those guys are kind of permanent inventory slots right now. With my higher construction level, I can now make a elite stash unit to store my crossbow and miter away to make some more space. Then right after that, I got a spirit seed from a birdhouse run. So I ran over to Tithe Farm to work on my farming level a bit more, managed to pick up the Gricola's watering can as well, and then left once I got the level I needed to plant the spirit seed. All right, finally, this is it, this is it. There we go, spirit tree is now in my house, but that's not quite it. The stew chasing is not quite done. There is one more thing I need to chase my stews for. Build the fairing. Yes. Yes. The fairing and the spirit tree in my player owned house. All right. Now we got the fairing up north. We got the spirit tree down south. Got the tool storages down there to the left. Got the jewelry box right there. Got my portals to the left and the right and a bit of north. Got the dig site teleport nice and close as usual. Got my costume room right up north there with all my lovely stuff. Yeah, that's what the house is looking like now. And it is so nice. It's got a lot of stuff missing still, obviously, but I think the uh, essentials are coming together quite nicely. Uh, hey guys, it's it's been a little while. I've basically just been sitting at Adamantite Crabs the past few months, just AFK and while I figure some stuff out. I do still have the plug installed, as you can see, here's the tiles, but uh, yeah, I, I don't, I don't want to play with this much lag anymore. So I haven't really been playing on this account very much. I met a lot of cool people through the Tileman Discord, including the Tileman Godfather, Saram himself. And I really enjoyed being a part of that community. But even if the plugin didn't lag, once you get enough XP from combat and skilling, you won't really be running out of tiles anymore. So at this point in the account, the only difference between me and a normal ultimate is just that I have a bunch of yellow markers covering my screen at all times. If I'm taking anything away from playing on this account, it's knowing that not only am I capable of playing an ultimate Iron Man, but I actually kind of loved it. Does not having a bank ever get annoying? Yes, it never stops being annoying, but it makes the game a lot more interesting to play in my opinion. So this is the end of my yellow tiled road. We are finishing off with 1800 total level and now three stats at level 99. Thank you all for watching this series. And for those of you who prefer Ultimate Iron Man content, just know that my time playing without a bank is only just beginning. Real quick, in case anyone was wondering where the Tileman plugin went, it did disappear for a little bit, but it is back up on the Runelite plugin hub. And the boys in the Discord are working to fix the lag issues. So in case anyone is interested in playing on a Tileman, you probably will not have to deal with the leg issues that I had to. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Uh, new Slayer Guy episode soon, hopefully.